Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well and welcome to the Cancer Forecast for May 2023. So I have to say that after looking at what's going on in the month of May, I hope that you Cancerians are sleeping well and taking your vitamins because it's going to be a really busy month in your 5th and 11th houses and this is called your social and creative access. But before we get into that, I want to let you know that I have a free gift for everyone who subscribes and likes my content here on this channel. So I'm giving away one free personal question answered. And all you have to do is contact me through my email, which is listed in the description box below. And I'll answer one personal question for you. So make sure you provide not just your date of birth, but also the place and time of birth and uh, also allow a few days for me to get back to you for, with a response because I have quite a few people who have requested so I'm really happy about that. I'm happy about growing this channel so that I can help as many people as I can. So let's get back to the astrology forecast for May. We have a prenumbral lunar eclipse happening on May 5th in the sign of Scorpio. And this is a south node related eclipse and it symbolizes an ending to something that no longer serves you. So the ending might be an uncomfortable one, but ultimately this is for your own good. This will be affecting your fifth house of creativity and joy, which also governs children. So there could be something coming to an end that involves one of your kids if you have them. It could also signify an ending to something that once brought you joy, but you know is not healthy for you. So time to change and let go so that something better can come into your life. For the rest of the month, you have a very busy 11th house. Very busy. So Mercury is currently in retrograde here in your 11th house, which involves social groups, friendships, the collective, and your biggest aspirations. During this time, you may want to review your goals and decide which social groups you want to continue investing your time and energy into. And you might be thinking about letting go of the connections that have been putting stress on you. At the end of the first week of May, Venus goes into your sign, Cancer. So if you're single, you could be finding someone very soon. And the key here is to stay active socially so that you're seen and you don't miss out on any opportunities. If you're not single, this is a time when you'll be bearing the fruits of your labor, so to speak. It's a time to really attract and relish the happiness and beauty in your life. If you have a journal, write in a gratitude journal, dream big, plan some gatherings for later on in the year, stuff like that. At work, you could be making more money through the development of more business. On the 14th, Mercury goes direct again, so you can move forward unimpeded with your plans. Because on June 16th, Jupiter moves into your 11th house, which really puts an emphasis on expanding your social life. You're going to be very busy here this month, so get ready. Make sure that you're getting enough rest and that you're fueling yourself in the right ways. And I feel like you should be saying yes to all the invitations that you're going to be receiving. Because with Jupiter in your 11th house, you could be attracting some really good opportunities here. When you're social and you're out and about and talking to people, this is when something really good can fall into your lap. You just never know. Also in your 11th house, there's going to be a new moon in Cancer happening on the 19th which suggests a new beginning here. So maybe a new friendship develops or you decide to start a new program. And finally, at the end of the month, Mars will be moving into Leo in your second house of income. This is going to amplify your desire to get things accomplished, but be careful that you don't become too aggravated when things don't move as quickly as you want. Okay, so this is what I've got for you right now, Cancerians. I hope that you have a wonderful month and we'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.